sorry, I had my mic muted there. Let me turn this down. Uh, hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Let me turn this down as well. Uh, this is a game called Corpse Wizard. Um, welcome to Friday Night Roguelikes. Uh, we're playing indie games. See, so yeah, I have no idea how, how I should crop this. I don't know what's going to be relevant information. But hey, you're seeing me crop shit in real time. Is that interesting? Um, and yeah, the game loads as though it was meant to be played on, like, a Game Boy screen. Okay. C to place a column. Okay. Z to shoot lightning bolts. Okay, columns and bolts consume hit points. Bolts also steal health from monsters, and most monsters give health when they die as well. And you can attack monsters by bumping into them. But that lets them get close to you, so be careful. Oh, so I should probably be next to... Use items, or try to heal to repossess... Okay. So I should try to be around my column, right? This is weird. Is this even a roguelike? Jesus. This is fucking weird. Um, so yeah, this is a game I picked up off of Itch.io. Okay, where is my health? Okay, um, two? Items are limited use, but monsters will drop replacements. Oh, that warps me. And that'll shoot guys away. That launches me. Oh, that swaps me. I'm essentially just castled. He is invigorated. Okay. It's weird. It's this is very reminiscent of Oh fuck, right. This is a little reminiscent of What was that fucking video game I played? Okay. Now I have skull. This is so bizarre, man. Okay, I don't know where my health is. Should I be seeing that? The music pops. Oh god. Uh wait or cancel. The crux symbol. Okay. The corpse wizard will die. Uh let me just push that over here so you can't see that. There we go. Hide the shame. Hide the shame. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing this in an absolutely, like, tiny screen. Okay, so it looks like lightning is... Oh, fuck. Whoops. Lightning is more effective if I can hit two go uh, two goons with it at once. Uh, 
because that'll give me more health to suck away. Damn. Uh, this is interesting, at least. So how much health do I have? I put down four, five, six, seven. I've been hit once, so that's eight. Okay, so do I have ten hit points? See, so yeah, it's almost more like a puzzle game. Okay, so you want to like not get backed into a corner. I can see what I'm. I can see what's happening here. I, I, I pick it up. I pick it up. Okay. I can already see that this is going to be another roguelike uh, variety pack. I wanted to cancel that. Yeah, because this game is not, like, super deep. It's cool. I'm not going to tell you it's not cool. See, this is good. When you get him into a corridor. Animatos, animatos, we sing. Is that a goat? What the hell? Oh, man. Shadows of the Damned on PC? I should play that. Yeah, it really just requires you to just fucking think. Okay. Who is saying that? Oh, wow, these guys have a lot of health. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. Okay. 256 seems like a good place to cut it. Um, yeah, that'll be a... Uh, that's Corpse Wizard. If that interests you, go get it. It's on Itch.io. Other than that... Very simple puzzle game. I would understand if you didn't like it. Um, very austere, aesthetic. Jesus, sorry. That's really loud. Um, very, uh, it knows exactly what it wants to be, I think. It reminds me of Skeletris because it's way more puzzly than traditional roguelike. And uh, you play as a dead guy. And it reminds me of Hyper Rogue is what I was trying to think of. Because it is uh, almost like a board game where your move and your attack are usually the same thing. But in this, your health and your attack are also the same thing, and so you have to calculate it. Um, but yeah, that's Corpse Wizard. Uh, on to the next game, I guess. Hey, we're back. Uh, this one is Realm of the Ghost King, as you can see. So let's take a look-see. Tutorial. Press space to begin. Use the wads to move around. You got it. Enemies move after you move. Attack adjacent enemies with the move keys. Move towards an enemy to attack it. Enemies that have been attacked lose their next turn, so you can't attack. And then they drop souls. Okay. You bought a status potion. These will automatically clear status effects that can cost you a turn. 
Let's try it out. You're slimed. Okay. Spirit bombs. Okay, interesting. Pick it up. Press space. Jason bombs hurt you, so get out of the fucking way. Souls can be spent directly. Pick up this soul. Each monster has a special, unique attack. Specials do a variety of things and cost soul. You're playing as a ghost who has double action. Two moves in a row. Oh, and there's also an interesting. There's also a cooldown. Okay, cool. Regular game, daily challenge, endless mode, be a tourist. Oh, interesting. Walking simulator mode. Let's try regular game. Okay, full disclosure. I'm recording this with intent to... Oh, wow. Yeah, I was recording this with intent to put it in the variety pack, but, um... That might, uh, that might... That might... This might have to be its own video. Alright, I'm turning the music down because it's kind of hurting my ears. Press space to begin. Fuck. Is that a Cthulhu man? I never did have a chance. Alright. Oh, man. There we go. This is going a lot better now. Fuck. I, it's not that deep. See, I can't close in on them, but this is another thing, another, like, almost puzzle. Damn, dude. This game's hard. See, so they spawn an annoying number of, like, an annoying distance away. Oh, boy. So it's really difficult to, like, get in on one of them. Maybe if I can get, like, diagonal to them. See, that works. Okay. So I just need to, like, get myself diagonal. Jesus. Stop dancing with me. Just fuck you, alright? Just go to hell. Alright, Haunted Forest. Ugh! All right, let's see. Oops. Let's see if we can't oh, play a game. Endless mode. Let's try this. Don't touch that thing. 
See, it's so... I feel like it's just really hard to get yourself into a position. Oh, I didn't know you could even wait. Oh, wait, that's a bomb. Never mind. So how... Can you wait? Um... B -b -b controls. That bomb. That's it, huh? Well, it's a very simple game. This one's okay. I feel like the, um... Let's just go look around, huh? I feel like the aesthetics are a little, uh, more on point. I just feel like it's just a little rough in execution. I feel like, um... Like you're just stuck playing as this character who doesn't have good abilities. Still, the aesthetic is pretty nice. It's a bad game, per se. Like, maybe if you just automatically get health back, no matter what. Or maybe... I don't know. Like, there's just a lot of choices I, I see here where I'm like, I don't know if I would make a game like that. It seems cool. I don't know, maybe it's too simple for my tastes. Tourism mode completed. The end. Hey, I'm the Ghost King now. Well, that's a roguelike, everyone. Go ahead and play it if you like. All right, everyone. Um, this is the third. Ooh, interesting track. This is the third one for this episode. It might be the last one, and I do want to warn everyone: there's going to be a little pause. Uh, there's going to be a little break on Friday Night Rogue Legs because over Christmas I have some stuff planned. Um, but then I'm going to get back into it, and I'm going to do a few more in January and maybe even in February. Uh, okay. So we're picking our character here. Gorton, the tank, Dynomite. <laughs> okay, so first of all, it's a it's another first person shooter like last week's penance. So it looks like you can charge up the bow. Uh, trap this fucking track slaps, I'll tell you that for free. Alright, sorry, I couldn't get a clear shot without getting hit. My apologies. Okay, let's take a look here. C controls. Yep, I need that. Okay. Right, gotta charge it. Did I pick like a bad character to play as? I may have. A little Grogu's over all over. So I wonder why this character is called David Bowie. Okay. It's a little too high. Much better. Alright, thank you. Excuse my rudeness, but could you please die? Oh, these are probably red doors. Like, from Devil May Cry, sorry. Which means that I need to kill these guys before I will be allowed to proceed. Or... Must I solve a puzzle? Maybe it's right-click. No, okay. This music is wild, I will say. 
Like it's it's giving me like this this fucking pipe and hot track. I'm like doing nothing. Oh my god! Oh, it's a little crab. People with arachnophobia in the comments, are you also afraid of certain crabs? I want to know. All right, I have a sense that I picked a bad character. Or maybe a difficult character. See, because this guy has like a gun that humans use as opposed to a crossbow. Man, I was struggling to find like games to play in Halloween for uh, Spooky Night Spook Likes or whatever I decided to name that. Oh my god, you're still on my ass. Please, sir, get off of my ass. Okay, so this shoots relatively slow, but it has spread, so it's a lot easier to aim. The character feels a little slower. Wow, already, huh? So it's a first-person bullet hell roguelike shooter. Uh, kind of similar to Ziggurat as well. I'm going to try the tank again. We're going to try every character. So you already... So the doors out of here lead to different places as well. That's interesting. Oh, you're behind me. Why is this... Why is this dog always here? Is that just the tank's burden? Something will spawn in his ass... Quite the, uh, quite the task. Oh my god, I didn't even know I could do that. Press use to pick up flip-flops. I don't know what use is. Oh, it's E. Oh, fuck, I didn't know, I didn't know what I was doing. Alright, so right-click, we'll throw a little bomb down. Oh, gross. Okay. Let's try Gordon. I, uh, I don't have a gun. Okay. Let's try Dynamite. Oh, their speed stats are different. Yeah, okay. So he launches the bombs. Okay, so you can definitely hurt yourself on all your shit. So we can also throw bombs. And the bombs that I shoot do not take away from my ammunition of bombs. Okay, interesting. What the hell is that? It's like a turtle gun. It's like a gunship that is also a turtle. Lux Ankh power up. Interesting. So how do I... How do I use that katana, huh? Alright, sickle. Blast shield. Does the coil. I don't have enough money for any of these. The sickle is the weapon that the other guy has, I believe. Yeah, let's just bomb him. I'm really having to get my doom fingers going. Oh, come on. Oh, that's it. Oh, they're still here, though. The, the enemies are still here. Please stop shooting me, sirs. Okay, I defeated the boss. Let that be known. Alright. So, <laughs> why is it David Bowie? Also, how do you switch weapons? Should I start hitting other things? Like, 
Space is jump. That's bomb throw. Okay, I'm hitting the movement keys now. What? Oh, it's shift. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so you have to charge it up. And it I don't know if it comes back. Gift shop, eh? This one's really cool. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Bucket of tar, bottle opener, and armor box. Well, I can, all I can afford is this. Full ammo. Cool. Okay, so the shark is just an... It's a shark, not a dog. And it's just an enemy that can spawn at a random chance. Interesting. For some reason, my computer is just shitting its pants trying to run this. I'm not sure why. I guess the lighting engine, but it's a pretty simplistic looking game. As a shooter, I think Penance was better, but this looks like it's a lot better of a roguelike, I'll say. Um, multiple characters to play as is usually a really, really good selling point in a roguelike. Pretty much always. Hey, if you're making a roguelike and you're like, how can I spruce this up? Uh, can you mix it up with a new character? You know, slide me one of those. See if that tickles my whistle. Wets my whistle, or tickles my fancy. Tickles my whistle sounds lewd. All right, um, well that's a... Uh, <laughs> Oh, it just hard quits to... Okay, well, glad I had this up so you didn't see my pornography in the background. I don't currently have pornography open. That was a joke. Um, wow, that was fucking... What game was that? That was Paranautical Activity. Um, if that interests you, I got it through Itch.io, as I do a lot of my games. Um, and it might be on Steam? Let me check. I'll check for all of you right now. You'd think that I would have just, you know fucking had it open already paranautical activity ten dollars on steam yep it's by digirati so yeah, it's based off of the binding of isaac and splunky and then doom and quake naturally uh so yeah um i believe it also has yeah this company's done other things by the look of it they did the Magister. They did a. They did what looks like another roguelike called Slain Back from Hell. Did a game called Steel Mantis. Um, that's probably the episode. A uh, really short one this time, I know, and uh, I'm kind of sorry for that, especially since this is going to be the last one for a little bit because we have shit in the way. Um. But you know what? That's okay. I guess I don't know. I. It's not really my place to say if something's okay or not. Uh, I hope that's all right with everyone. Uh, if you enjoyed any of these games, please uh, let me know. Uh, buy them yourself. And if, uh, if you'd like to see another variety pack, please let me know. Um, I like doing them. They're a lot easier to make because I don't have to try to talk for you know, 40 minutes about one, one game. Uh, and of course, I named the first Friday Night Roguelikes variety pack variety pack one which means that i had to do a second one to justify naming the first one one it's like why would we call it world war one if there wasn't gonna be a world war two Jeez, they really should have thought of that probably could have prevented a whole lot of stress anyway i've been alfred uh that was paranautical activity corpse wizard and realm of the ghost king um all decent games very, uh, they all had kind of a horror bent, which meant that I should have played them in October, even though I had them installed. And whatever, that's on me. I'll see you guys next time, though. I've been Alfred. This has been Friday Night Roguelikes. Bye bye.